Becca's gonna make this fast. Hi you guys, it's Becca and I wanted to show you some things I got at a garage sale. I'm gonna start with the miscellaneous stuff and then the big item at the end because I have to go outside and get that out of my van still. So, um, I stopped at this garage sale that actually had um, tons of different um, paper racks and um, you know, stands for your stuff and embellishments. It was fantastic, but unfortunately I'm really happy with the way that my scrapbook room is. Dad? Dad is bye-bye. Um, and she was actually closing a store, so the prices are a little bit high for a garage sale, but they're a really good deal compared to um, if you bought them at a local scrapbook store. So anyways, I'm going to start with this. This is adorable. I have like a serious obsession with mooses. In fact, um, yes, I have a serious obsession with mooses. So there is that. And I, <laughs> I don't even know. I want to stamp it all over everything right now. Um, and like I said, she had like boxes and boxes, but I did have my daughter and her friend with me, so I had to go kind of fast because they were getting anxious. But I did pick up these. They are like red tie alphas. Not sure what I'm going to do with those yet, but I haven't never had them. And then these were pretty cheap, so I picked them up. They're just clear tags that you can like maybe just put like journaling in or something. And I have tons of these little like slides, but I have a smaller size of them, so I liked these because they were so big. So I just picked up a little stack of those. Not more than I'm going to use. I was smart about that this time. Um, I did get this stamp. This was 75 or 50 cents. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. And this. I love using, I just got it for this part right here. I love using acrylic paint now on my pages and my stamps are like not taking well to the acrylic paint so I thought maybe I'd try one of these big foam ones to see how it works. Um, so I got two packs of those. Um, here are some random little bread ties. I thought these were really cool. They're like little tags and stuff. They were 50 cents so I thought I would try it. And then these are really neat. And here's some stamps. They're perfect to put inside of a circle hole punch, or like the circle punches I have. So I thought um, I would go for it. You can see it a little bit better. I like that one that just says scrapbook. So those are fun. Um, and then I got this one. It's just basketball. I kind of liked that. That would go really nice on a circle too. She had a bunch of other ones that were circle like this and I guess I kind of thought I was picking up a baseball one. Um, but I'm not going to go back and buy another one. It's across town. Then I got these for $5. Um, I thought they were really cute and I like how the faces are there already. So I can make a funny face um, ghosts. But I also like that because I don't have any of those peachy keen face stamps yet. so. This might be a nice alternative for my mini monsters for a little while. And then I got this stamp. This is from Autumn Leaves. Autumn Leaves has pretty cheap stamp sets, but um, far out. I like that. And this little guy is so cute. Um, and then this one from Autumn Leaves. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this yet, but I think that the possibilities are endless. So I'm really excited about this one. And then this one from Autumn Leaves, and it's just the circles. It's called Talking in Circles. And then like, look at, there's like a little crown, but it says P in the middle, like for prince instead of, you know, like a princess. So that's cute. And then this is the last thing I got there um, for little things. This is from Technique Tuesdays, and she had them retailed for $17, and I got them for like six bucks. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. I really like this because I can make like one of those little, a very large, one of those first class, you know, like little things. So there's those two. And then there's family, delight, love, you and me, friends. So that was a really good deal, I thought. And these are pretty big stamps, too. Okay, guys, I'm going to head outside and show you the other thing I got, okay? Be back in a minute. <clears throat> Okay guys, so I don't know exactly where I'm going to put it, but because I had to take out my other paper racks, this is my new paper rack. <clears throat> I 
And I've got all of my paper stacks down there that I'm not going to bring with me to my crop. And then I'm going to do one side down that side over there is going to be all just colored paper. And then randoms. And then on this side, it's got like half of a paper rack on the bottom half. 